Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and this is Sonali from It Starts At Home and I hope everybody is doing great. Guys, in today's video, I'm going to be answering a very basic question. That is, can we do coding activities without computer at home with us as an introduction to the pre-coding concept? The answer is yes, you can. There are tons of activities available and I've always shared so many of them. I do have a playlist which says coding activities and I'm linking up right here. And also the first thing that we did was the first step of coding, which was algorithm. That's what we did. We had five different videos on algorithm where I had explained everything. And in today's video, I'm moving to step number two that is called sequencing. So sequencing is as a word you understand, or if it's a new word to your, um, for your kid who's around four year old, um, I think it's a great opportunity for you to explain what the word means. So sequencing is primarily, it refers to completing a task in a certain order. So that I have uh, this whole unit of uh, sequencing activities right here with me. And again, it's gonna be a set of five activities that I have already prepared. And um, let me show you what it is exactly. So uh, consider that you have to do a small thing, like you have to pick up a pencil or you have to brush your teeth. There are certain number of steps that you do in sequence to achieve to the final result. So if you have to pick up an eraser from the table and you're sitting here, you're gonna get up first, walk straight, grab your hand, pick up the eraser, right? So you had to get up first from the sofa. You were... So that sequence of actions that you take in a particular order to complete the task is called sequence. Sequence is important to ensure that the task is performed correctly in our sequence activity, especially in this activity today, what uh, in the whole set, uh, kids will need to identify the pictures to be placed in the correct order. So there are many things here and in the first one, primarily in this video, you would the kids in the beginning would be finding the activities one, two and three easy because that was my always the aim, like the first, second, third activity needs to make them feel comfortable and understand so that they, they understand what exactly is happening and then they can carry forward. So in terms of uh, today's activities, we have... Um, we have 10 activities here where by end of the 10th activity, the kids would be writing sequences as uh, number one uh, learning module for sequencing unit. So the first one that I have here is, I'm going to show it to you. It says sequence writing example is done for you. So you have, you can see you have these uh, three different pictures here. And um, these three different pictures is kind of a sequence that you see a green, red, green, red, green, red. So that's a great example for sequence writing. They have to observe and then they have to write. So the first one is done for you. You have to figure out the second one. The second one is green and then red, red, then green, red, red. What's the sequence going to be? A, B, B, A, B, B. So then you have to follow for the next one. Now the sequence just keeps moving forward. So here, you could just see that there are again different pictures and you could just write a, 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 and that's the sequence. So moving on to the fourth activity because the first, second, third activity is the same. This is what the kids needs to uh, observe. This is now all one code. Look at the sequence and write the code in the page below. Example is done. So this is all one code. And if you see, I have used these images that are not very, um, very simple. I have, I have used a blend of images wherein the kids will be able to, they would need to concentrate primarily and would be able to identify how it needs to be written. So I have written the code here. The code is written on the back page. It says A, B, C, D, E. So that was for the first one, A, B, C, D, E. Now A represents this, B represents this, C, D, E. Now they have to see how to continue the code. And because it's one code, so you are not using different, different lines, but primarily it's going to be one big paragraph for completing the whole page. So this is exactly how they're gonna be doing uh, sequence writing. They are looking at a sequence of um, clustered numbers or pictures, and then they're gonna be decoding it either by doing one and zero or by just using alphabets. Um, there are tons of activities here. I have used different images here for kids to explore and see. This is now again a complete code that they have to break into and then they have to completely do the coding writing here. 
this is the last one to the activity where you have uh, continents i would say you have all the continents here and the child needs to do sequence writing so by end of these 10 activities the child would be able to associate um sequence writing in in a particular format and then any kind of numbers any kind of things that are given to them and this is primarily without computers all you have to do is just uh take out a print of this and this is guys a paid printable so if you need this um uh you can email to me on sonali kapoor 08 at gmail.com i have my full email address here and also in the description box below so that's it guys this was my sequencing part one the part two would be showcased in the next video. If you have any questions regarding this, please let me know. There are tons of resources available here. And plus, uh, if you have any queries, just uh, leave a comment below or just say hi if you're a new subscriber. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.